my favorite gems to use for authentication is device, but authentication is only part of the story. When it comes to security and what users have access to your software, you then have to worry about the authorization, which is the level of access that they have within your system. And typically, when building that into my Rails applications, I would reach for a gem called Pundit. I think Pundit is a great gem for adding in the kind of authorization that you would need to then limit the level of access to various controller actions. However, if you start to look through the documentation, you'll see that it basically ends there. It's really meant for handling whether or not a user has access to a particular controller action. And it really doesn't go further deeper into the actual model within your Rails application. So let's say we have a Ruby on Rails application and we have a basic device set up. Within this application, we have several different products. And these products, I can see the name, the price, and the stock of each one of these products. And each one of these columns are different attributes on our product model. If we edit one of these, we can edit each one of these items. But the issue comes into play is what if I should have access to change the name and the stock, but the price is something that I do not have access to change, or at least I shouldn't have access to change that field. And that's what we're going to look at in this episode. So if we go to our list of users, and if we edit one of our users, even though I'm an admin, I would like to take this product for the price attribute, and I would just want to change it to view access. And maybe for the stock, I would have no access, meaning that I'm unable to edit or even view its values. So I'll update this user, and when we come back to the products, you'll see that the stock no longer shows, and we just have the name and the price. When we go to edit one of these, we can edit our grill, but we can no longer edit the price. And if someone does something tricky, like trying to edit the value within the terminal to make it more expensive and then update it, you'll see that it retains the original price and it did not accept the value coming in for the price change. And so we're gonna look at building this kind of dynamic roles within our application in this episode. To watch this full episode and more videos, visit driftandruby.com and subscribe to the Pro Membership.